So we use a normal photo, which is absolutely okay, but we converted it into a Hollywood high budget blockbuster superhero costume. So that's how you do it. The first step is going to be selecting the photo that we want over here. I'll be selecting this photo and then we will take this picture into our Stable Diffusion website. Now when you open the Stable Diffusion website for the first time, it is going to look like this. And this is the automatic 11.11 version of Stable Diffusion. So how do you install Stable Diffusion? It's something you have to figure it out yourself. There are lots of videos on YouTube. I'll teach you how to use Stable Diffusion, the power of artificial intelligence, to create some awe-inspiring videos. Awe-inspiring photos, I mean. And this particular page is the first page of Stable Diffusion. What you need to do is we have to go to this tab called Image to Imaging. Now why? Because we already have an image with us and we are going to use that image, for example this one, and drag and drop into this software. Give it some time to load. Once it's done, we see that, once it's done, we see that the image is loaded and we choose the image we choose the image to imaging tab because we want this image to change into another image and we would have chosen this text to imaging tab only if we were interested in generating an image with the help of text but in this case we go to image to imaging now over here we have to go to another tab which is called the in painting tab now why is that because we don't want the whole of the image to change we just want the outfit to change so over here we're going to paint out the outfit only I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. I'm using this brush tool to paint out only the outfit that I want to change. Now, let me fast forward. Yes, now that the outfit portion is changed, now I'm going to write a text over here and that would describe the kind of outfit I want. For example, right now I want it to be a sci-fi superhero type outfit. So I'm gonna write over here, sci-fi, comma, superhero. Comma, female. You have to tell, we have to tell this artificial intelligence that the character is gonna be female or else it won't understand all the time. So the next step is going to be, we already have sci-fi superhero female. We want it to be an armor. And after that, in order to make sure that this image is realistic, I have got some, I've got some of my own prompts ready. I'll attach this, these prompts in the description so that you can just copy and paste it. So what do we have here? We have very high detailing, natural lighting, photorealistic, and then all these extra, all these extra texts that will make our image look absolutely perfect. We copy it and paste it over here. And now, this is a part where we have to make sure we type in only the texts that we don't want to be in this image. For here, we don't want it to be unrealistic, nor cartoony, nor digital art not deformed body parts, low quality, etc, etc. So we copy these. These are the texts that we don't want to be, that we don't want to go into the image. We paste it here. Our work is not done. The next step is going to be changing this sampling space from 30, sampling step from 20 to 30, so that the quality that we get would be better. And then we have to make sure that the image size and the ratio over here is same because if we drag this one we will see that the image size is changing and it has to cover the whole of the image and I know from experience that this is going to be 768 for my image to keep the same proportions we do two batches because uh, if I don't like the first one I might like the second one and now we go to the control net. Now this is the place, this is the place where we're gonna make sure that the artificial intelligence understands that there is a depth to the image. The subject is over here and 
everything apart from it is a background there is a way to make the artificial intelligence understand that we use control net we go to depth control net we have it over here and oops we change the depth to 0.5 now the stable diffusion will understand that this subject is in the front and the rest of it is behind and after this is done all of our steps are almost complete we hit generate all right it's gonna take some time for the photo to get generated it's going to take for my pc which has a medium requirement medium specification about five minutes for each and every single photo to generate and if you have a faster PC, the photo is going get, to get generated in about one minute or two minutes. Now, while we wait for the photos to get generated, we open up Photoshop. Why do we need Photoshop? Because the image that is generated is not going to be perfect. We're going to use the tools of Photoshop to make sure that we get rid of all the imperfections. So here are the two images that have been generated. We see these two because we have created a batch of two initially and if we had created four then we'd have had four images but for the tutorial purpose i'm only generating two so once we have these we select i like both of them so i decided to select uh, one and just randomly and i put it on photoshop and we see that the edges are not exactly perfect so what we do we use the photoshop tools for example eraser and paint bucket and painting tools and we use it to make sure that we get rid of all the imperfections and the final project and the final product that we get will eventually look like this so we use a normal photo which is absolutely okay but we converted it into a hollywood high budget blockbuster superhero costume so that's how you do it until next time